today my friends I got a beautiful day going on it's about 23 24 uh, very little wind cloudy kind of overcast sky but uh, I'm heading back to what had been a great big hay field that we had when I was a kid at the south end of it there's a slough that goes from pretty much empty in the dry years to fairly full in the wet years I uh, thought I would come back and see what things look like back here I'm seeing lots of cows some hay being cut if you're interested come along okay I thought I'd give you the lay of the land here this is between Guernsey and Plunkett uh, there's a power substation just a bit east of me see the power lines there and this is the big old field I used to bounce around on for what seemed like years making hay for the cattle so that's where I'm gonna go over top of those bushes over there uh, not sure how when I get home I'll look at Google Maps and find out how far it is but it was a pretty big field back when I had cattle we used to keep cattle there a fellow named Delmer Ernst owned that pasture I mean my brother kept cattle out there anyway got things ready to go let us see what we can see
Well, that flight went pretty well. Uh, it was hard to... Oh, there's a deer. Looks like a fairly young one. Hi, baby! Yeah, so anyhow, the flight in the hayfield went well. Hard to light. It was cloudy, so I'd be in the sun, and then I'd be in shadow, so the video's going to be a little iffy. But it was a good flight. Way more way more water in that slough than there used to be. Let's see if we can pick up on that deer up here. Went in here somewhere. Grass is deep enough, it's pretty easy to hide. Okay, so, well, I got the camera running, I will show you the substation, power station. Been around as long as I've been here, the government-owned power company, Sask Power, has had that, <laughs> should I tell that story? probably shouldn't but back when I was about 15 or 16 me and a guy jumped the fence middle of the night and went in there found a unlocked door to that building I'm not sure if we get that building there and while I was trying to turn a light on I was flipping what I thought were light switches and turns out, <laughs> years later I find out that we actually set off an alarm and Sask Power and police <laughs> went roaring out there. We'd already jumped back over the fence, <laughs> disappeared into the night. But I used to hang around with the son of the guy that was the Sask Power guy. And one night we're sitting around talking and I told him about it and he said, he got his eyes got all big and wide and he said, that was you? Oh boy, that caused quite a commotion. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I do go on and on. <laughs> okay, hope you liked the video.